self-realization without a personal advantage. What I am is not anything that you can call an experience. What I am can't be found in any sense. You can't find it through sensory perception. And all I am is sensory perception. All I am is the body, the energy, the field, the air, the movement, the sound. I'm not anything special. I'm not anything that could be separated from everything. In this unique form I can call mine, which I can describe through the language. Exists just in, in this field of thoughts, in a story of a mind, of a so-called spirit telling the story, hey, here I am, I have a personal history in a multiversum, in a place called home or not. I have to fight for, or I have to try to create, I create or not, just something like thoughts. But are there really thoughts? Are there thoughts? Or is it all about thoughts? Just about that there would be something like thinking. Something like that pretends to know what this would be. Something that pretends, oh I know who I am and I know where I am and I know what this is and often then comes another idea I know it even better how how be more beautiful this could be What knowledge is worth to keep it, to remember? And who needs any knowledge? Trying to collect knowledge to have another personal advantage. Oh, I know more than you. Oh, I know I am one with the field, with the universe, I'm one with you. Ha 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 Who can be one with everything? We are all one. We are all non. Nons. If I could take away the language, here, if I could think in Swahili, Kishwahili or whatever, or in a Polynesian language, try. I can't do it. <laughs>
So, if I could take away language, what were there? Nothing. No words. No definition. But who needs? Who need? Who is in a need? Who is in a need to take away anything? Who needs to be free from something? From pain? Or from chaos? Or from unpleasant emotions and sensations? Is there anyone who needs to be free from anything? There isn't anyone who needs to be free from anything. And there isn't anything you can be free from. Imagine. You are everything that appears not only the body, or the mind, you are everything you perceive in this moment and imagine that you do not know it because you believe or you have learned to believe you are a person or you are an individual or you are an entity or however you can call you. Imagine you believe you are a born object or whatever, even when you believe you are an avatar or an enlightened being, you still, you are still lying to yourself. <laughs> You cannot not lie to yourself. Every, every definition I give, I'm giving me, is a lie. It's a something like it's not true. So what is true? Nothing is true. The truth can't be reached by anything. Imagine you are not an experience. You are not an experiencer. You are not anything that can be experienced. And imagine you are that what is experiencing everything. You are that what is looking through each eye. Through each eye of each animal. You are that what is looking through each, each eye of mankind. You are that wind that shakes the leaves. You are that what is aware of the leaves, what feels the leaves, what feels the trees shaking. And still you are nothing that you can know. You are not an object that can be known by anything. And that's your misery. You want to know yourself because you want to control yourself. Because you are afraid of yourself. And then you create others that seems to be seem to be more stupid than me. That seem to be that seem to do cra more crazy things. But can you find yourself first before you look at the self of anyone else? And if you are not in the need to find yourself, 
if you are not in the need of anything you don't want to change anything you don't want to avoid anything you don't want to do anything and you don't want to undo anything so what? Thank <laughs> you.